Hey guys, what's up and welcome. I am Matthew Singati, the hybrid, the best of both worlds. I am a designer and at the same time, I am a developer from South Africa. This is going to be a React hook form series. This is going to be packed with tools and techniques and a certain way of thinking on how to handle react hook form i am going to dive deep into details and i'm going to construct and create mental models that will help you to understand this package now let me just quickly give you a brief as to how am i planning to execute this course so that you can quickly see if this course is for you i have learned um, over time to respect people's time so it's very important for me to quickly give you an idea of how am i planning to execute so that you can see if this course is for you or this course is not for you i have just realized that the internet youtube and udemy we all have missed the point okay we all have missed the point of packages or libraries what do i mean by that most of us we um we got lost into the simplicity of these libraries what do i mean by that if we have a library like this the first thing that comes to our mind it's react hook form and it's supposed to be what copy and paste isn't it what do we mean by that you just install the library as instructed and what you will do you will just follow these guys follow these guys copy and paste copy and paste when you are done you are supposed to be a pro i have faced the same thing in my shared cn uh, course which is on free code camp this one okay somewhere here i got some comment which are something like the shared cn is not supposed to take uh three hours the other one was something like are you telling me that you are teaching people copy and paste okay and the, the rest of other comment i understand what these guys are thinking okay so this is the problem that i really want to solve with this course let's go to the whiteboard so that you can decide if this course is going to be for you or it's not going to be for you the reason why you don't master okay let's see my pen it looks like it's not connected my apologies about that let me just uh quickly connect it okay the reason why you don't master okay um including this one react hook form it's simply because you've got a wrong mental model about libraries okay let me give you an example most of us think okay or we get lost in the simplicity of these libraries imagine that this is a table 90 percent of developers okay they've got a table that is dependent only on one leg okay can you guess what will happen okay as soon as they put their plate here for them to eat okay obviously there is um imbalance going on here as a result there will be more weight to this side and the table will collapse okay so as you can see this is the painful way of looking at things and unfortunately um there are still other developers who really think um this way when it comes to libraries okay so meaning that they only rely on syntax okay for instance this is how they look at it if we are talking of react hook form how to go about it and that's it they want to know uh the syntax the methods that we're going to use and they just want to copy and paste okay let me give you um two more legs of this um of the table of any library okay so in order for you to get your table to be balanced okay as a developer so that you can be pro a professional developer and you can be ready for employment you need to understand this is what i learned along the way okay this table has got three legs okay the first leg okay this is the only leg that most developers see okay is to go to a library and learn the syntax okay okay how do these guys do things what are the models that are there and how do i manipulate the library this is where you mostly utilize copy and paste okay and most developers end here when you end here 
um, you don't become productive in the work environment because you will face some different scenarios. Let's say um, we want to use React hook form, but we want to use it with React query. That's a new problem. You have never even watched a video that teaches that and the work environment needs that and it becomes your problem, as you can see. So step number one, it's the introduction. Most people, they end here. And then step number two, we've got a second layer here on any library, even here in, in React hook form, I am going to teach you React hook form in these three layers so that you can be a well-rounded developer. So the second layer will be integration, okay? Let's say integration. Integration means that any library doesn't um, um, stay as a standalone library. It's not an island, okay? It's not like if I know React hook form and that's it. If I know the syntax, which is only number one, and that's it. This React hook form will need to submit this data to the server. Maybe you might use React query to do that. You might use, um, let's say, Axios to do that. You might use the normal fetch method to do that. So this means that this React hook form is connected, okay? It must integrate with other packages. And my question is, would it be fair for me if I can teach you React hook form and don't show you how do you integrate it with other application? Knowing very well that in the work environment, you don't use this as an island. This React hook form is not going to be an island. It must talk to um, other other packages okay it, it's a part of a bigger system okay so as you can see i am going to also teach you how do you integrate it okay with um other um, uh, packages okay obviously they might not be only for instance only data fetching packages okay let me just show you another example to show you that the complexity the level of complexity quadruples with time that means it's getting complex at the same time, you might find a company that will tell you that we are using SHAD-CN, okay, as a, U, as a UI library. I'm going to teach you how to integrate React hook form with SHAD-CN. And also some others, they might say we are using MUI, okay, material um, UI library to integrate this, okay. That means we want it to work with MUI, okay. So as you can see, if you can only think about this, Okay, to me, it's not a value being added to you, okay? But if I can show you this and I show you this and let me um, reveal to you another leg so that your table can balance because here it looks like it can balance but still there is a third leg that is needed in order for your table to balance, okay? The last leg which is invisible to a lot of developers, okay? Um, it's the third leg, and that third leg is TypeScript. Okay, due to um, rising problems in web dev or some sort of the complexity or the nature of your application, okay, or the company's application, sometimes you will have to manipulate some sort of change the core, okay? These libraries, they are giving you some sort of a base, okay? They are giving you the base for you to work from, okay? The more you've got some complex requirement, they don't really mind about you tweaking the core, okay? The core of the library so that you can solve the problem that you want to solve. So also in this series, I'm going to teach you how to tweak the core so that you can solve the problem, which makes um a third leg. So if you are that guy, who feels like um, React hook form doesn't really have to have this long series because it's just a copy and paste. This is where you are. And unfortunately, um, with um, respect, this video, it's not for you at all, okay? So meaning that you just want to learn the syntax, copy and paste, and then you can feel like you know how to use it, okay? This video is not for you. But if you really want to know how do you intro how do you get introduced into a library and how do you some sort of learn the library the best way in such a way that you can answer interview questions you can understand and fully understand um the the ui library okay in in its essence and how it has been created in such a way that you can integrate it with any 
um, library or with any package that the company might require you to do so. And at the same time, you are able to manipulate it, okay, in terms of TypeScript, okay. When you want to change or tweak the core essence of the library, most of these libraries, they are created with TypeScript. So in this course, I am going to teach you um, in terms of method number two, not method number one. Believe me, I tried method number one, okay, when um, I was still a beginner. And let me tell you what happened. The project which I loved and I was very happy with, which is LaVida, an accounting system, it got frozen. Why? Simply because I didn't know all the other two or the remaining two leg of my table. So my table was not balancing. I don't wish you to get into the work environment and you have to be, the boss doesn't have a choice but to release you. You have to be fired simply because you can't get this right. I hope you do get that one. So I am going to teach you with all of that. So um, what is a React hook form? Obviously, um, you might have dealt with forms in your life. For instance, in YouTube, you deal with forms um, in, in school, okay? When you are doing some online registration, you are dealing with forms, okay? Forms are everywhere around us. As a developer, it's not easy to deal with forms. Forms have got a lot of things, okay? Forms has got input validation. You need to validate if this is the right input. Something like this input is required. You need to validate the form. You need to collect this data in the most efficient manner, okay, specifically in React in the most efficient manner, and you need to send this data somewhere, okay. So there's a lot involved in forms than just, um, let's say, a pretty face, something that I thought that was the case here, okay and I learned it the hard way. So there's a lot involved in forms. So forms are just uh, things like these, okay? Obviously, um, forms can be complex, okay? Because this is just, let's say, just a simple form, okay? Now, what if maybe you want to create a multi-part form like this one, okay? Okay, as you can see, you can um, click here. It indicates that this is part one and then you have to type something. What if you forgot to type something here and click this form will remind you that please make sure you fix this and then you will fix it. This one is not required, let's say. And then you will click next. And then when you click next, it will take you to stage two and it indicates the progress here telling you that now you are on stage two. If you want, you can go back. And stage two heading is the educational details. As you can see, you can click next and then it will take you to um, stage three and then you will fill in the details. If you might want to go back, you can click go back as you can see guys, okay? So forms are not just forms um, about sending data to a server, but there are cases whereby you really, really need to understand the core essence of the library copy and paste will make you go fast okay but understanding those three legs all of them it will make you go far so i am going to explain the core essence of this library and i am going to show you um a simple form and the techniques and i'm going to show you a multi-part form um something more or less like this and how do you go about it in doing so we are going to integrate two ui libraries which i would like to believe they are the most popular which is uh shard cn okay since in React, um, these components, these input components, they are just pure input components. You can integrate them with this library very easy. For instance, let me just show you here. This is an input, nothing more, nothing less. But when you get into a UI library, this input is not like this, okay? It has been manipulated and it has been packaged. Think of a raw chicken that you can cook at home and the one that you can get from KFC, okay? As you can see, there is a difference in taste and how it looks and also the spices that are added there. So now this input, it's more like um, a KFC chicken, meaning that it's, um, it's quite different, okay? Things has been done to this input. Then how do you take this input, the one that is a controlled input, okay? That means... A lot of things has been done to it. How do you integrate it with this package? These are the things that I want to teach you. At the same time, I'm going to show you that you can also integrate other input as well, okay?
as you can see these are all the uh, material ui components okay so how do you integrate these maybe you might get maybe you might get a job from a client and they will tell you that i'm using material ui so you must be able to integrate this okay um now what can i say um this package with that so as you can see guys okay it's not um the one leg only okay but there are so many things involved in this series i'm going to take you step by step i'm going to hold your hand and also i'm going to show you the mistake that i did when it comes to handling form so that you can become a better developer in case you might uh, want to support us please check uh, udemy the link in the description below we've got a course on udemy and also i've got another page on our youtube channel which is coded ui coded space u w i where i teach people how to um, design awesome user interfaces so as you can see here okay this um it's an awesome ui otherwise i'm matthew singati the designer and developer thank you so much for clicking this video don't forget if you like the content like this one don't forget to subscribe see you on the next one